Now that you understand a little bit more about what a decoupler does and how to select a product family for your application, let's dive a little deeper. One of the most confusing topics for customers to understand is regarding which product ratings to select and how to arrive at a model number. Rating selection for each application involves more than we can present in this short video, but we will break it down to three main items to be aware of. Perhaps the most important component to the model number for any of our products is the AC fault current rating. This rating is stated clearly as part of the model number for all of our products and will be stated in kiloamps or thousands of AC amps. This rating relates to the AC fault current exposure for a given application. Every Dairyland product has a stated AC fault rating even if some applications have small or no exposure to AC faults. You'll see this rating designated as a 3.7 Ka or 10 Ka or something similar in the part number. Choosing the fault current rating can sometimes be a challenge. We're always willing to assist you in doing this, but let's talk about the general concepts here. Selecting the fault current rating is a function of sizing the decoupler to be rated for the fault current in excess of any potential fault that might be generated on your structure. For example, if your structure could be exposed to 2500 amps AC, a decoupler rating would be selected to exceed this current. If the product rating is selected to be above the system conditions for current, it will not have a lifetime limitation. You'll also notice that we often state AC fault current ratings along with the number of cycles it applies to. Cycles are merely a function of time, where 30 cycles equals one half second for 60 hertz power, and indicates the duration of time that the unit can withstand a fault at a given magnitude. One half second might not sound like very long, but in terms of an AC fault, it is significant. As 30 cycles represents the longest typical AC fault and shorter durations are more common, you'll also see that we list several fault current ratings in a table arranged by duration, all for a single Dairyland device. Devices can handle higher currents for short time durations through a range of combinations down to lower current for longer times. The next rating to consider is that of the DC blocking voltage. The DC blocking threshold is a DC voltage above which the device will be put into conduction and will begin to pass DC current. You'll recall from the other videos in this training series that conducting DC is not desirable for optimizing your CP system. Therefore, the voltage threshold should be chosen to be above any normal CP voltage present. A our standard designs have reasonable thresholds that are indeed suitable for almost all locations. The key item to remember when selecting a blocking threshold is that the blocking threshold of the device relates to the voltage across the decoupler terminals, which is different than the CP voltage measured with respect to a reference cell or the pipe to soil voltage. The DC blocking threshold will be stated in most model numbers as 2 slash 2 or 3 slash 1. In some model numbers, such as the PCR or PCRH, this rating is implied to be a 3 slash 1 volt unit. Refer to the product literature for instructions on how to order alternate blocking voltage thresholds. All Dairyland devices have a threshold in the negative polarity and another in the positive polarity, and the above values list these. So a minus 2 volt to plus 2 volt product blocks DC current flow until the voltage between the terminals tries to exceed either minus 2 volts or plus 2 volts. You will notice that these numbers are equal so the device has a symmetrical characteristic. For a minus 3 volt to plus 1 volt product, note that this is asymmetrical and it blocks a greater negative voltage than a positive voltage. So why is that needed? Well, this device is typically connected to a cathodically protected structure that is shifted to a more negative voltage compared to ground or some other structure, so the device threshold can be arranged to address the shift. In reality, most structures with CP can accept either the minus 2 plus 2 or the minus 3 plus 1 device. Device polarity should be noted during installation as it relates to the rating that we have been discussing. The last of the three primary ratings for Dairyland decouplers is their lightning surge current rating. All Dairyland products have a lightning surge current rating, most commonly 100 Ka, 
which is designated in most model numbers as simply as 100 if it is shown. This is not a configurable item, however, and is dictated by other product ratings that you choose and other product construction. Only the smallest SSD and OVP2 products have a lower 75KA lightning current rating. Model numbers occasionally have other designations included in them, such as the dash R in the SSD model number, or other designations found in the PCR or PCRH model numbers. These are options related to terminal arrangements and other configurable options. You can consult Dairyland literature for details on all the options available.